Yo, what's going on, guys? And we got to see a great game from Julian Strother. And I was talking about it on the NBA show this morning. Dude, that Denver bench is looking legit. And they are younger. They are better. So I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this team? And let's just talk about Julian Strother as a whole. Quick video today, guys. I do have school today and things I have to do. So hence why we're not going to harp on this for the longest bit like we would normally but with julian strother a guy coming out of gonzaga and i know he never went he never won a championship but he went on several championship runs and i think that really got him ready as an nba as a pro okay he was a guy that i thought was a borderline first round pick i believe i had him in my top 50 he was in my top 50 he was a guy that you know three years college ball 21 years old six foot seven and the las vegas native who he's a good player okay and i don't know if you guys knew this but he's also his background's puerto rican that's why he plays for the puerto rican national basketball team and he's six foot six without shoes with a six foot nine wingspan so he's got good size and for me i i buy the game i think he's shown that he translates to the next level as a shooter he's a legit 40 percent guy he has real touch on his jumper and nba range like I can't, we could spend eight minutes talking about the mechanics being perfect. The shot, like the preparation, how he steps into it, the bending of the knees and elbow. It's perfect. It's picturesque. You know, when they teach you beef in grade school, it's like this kid took beef to a whole new level. And he's got that quick release you need when you want to be a, a floor spacer, especially being able to rise up and get over guys quickly with how, you know, fast window you know shooting windows close in the nba so that's never been a question and even offensively he's going to be a guy that's you know he's limited to being a high shooter straight line driver he's not going to have a bunch of shake or you know get people off the bounce or be a crazy ball handler not going to create isos like being with someone with Jokic there he's not a ball screener but he's as much of a ball screener that probably michael porter jr is so the really the swing skill here for him it's going to be defense that size and length is going to allow him to be a passable defender but if he can consistently just keep people in front of him maximize his physical tools by using his body and quickness to at least stay in front of guys i think if he's willing to work hard and show effort there he's a rotational floor spacer six foot seven guys who can shoot they you know they have their weight in gold in the nba today and especially if he's willing to defend this guy has a 10 15 year nba career without a doubt so cheers to julian strother i thought that was a great game to watch i want to hear you guys' thoughts down below if you guys made it to this part of the video again this was a short one today i hope you guys did enjoy let me hear your thoughts about julian strother it was a good game to watch last night and yeah that's about it hope you guys have a good one bye